Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and nine two fives. But we are still married to the games. Episode three eight zero. Yes, sir. It's your boy Gabe Patillo with oh that side Tim Router. Let's see Ed Placencia and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. And it is our Christmas episode, baby. Hey, Merry Christmas! Oh yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope everybody is uh, grateful and got the things that they were wanting and. You know, kept the kept the kept the the first things first thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't know, yeah. You know, <laughs> right. To each his own on yep. that one. Um, let's start with uh, old Tim. You kind of had Christmas oh. today already. Yes, I already had a little bit of a Christmas. Uh, tonight we had the well. Today we had the Router family Christmas. So I went over to my parents' house. Right. And my brother and sister in law and the kiddos were there, and uh, and we just had a really good time. We had um, uh, a lunch. Mm-hmm. And then we exchanged gifts, and uh, it was a lot of fun, man. We had a good time. We did our annual elf spaghetti like we always do. There you go, um, your weird Christmas tradition. It is. It's a. It's been what uh, six, seven years in the running now, and wow. uh, most of them are brave enough to eat to try a little bit of it. And so we do the spaghetti. We do maple syrup, chocolate syrup, M and M's, uh, the mini marshmallows. Which this time I got the fruity marshmallow one, oh, which made it a little Wait, interesting. Fruity marshmallows? Yeah, the if you look in, in Elf, he's got the mini marshmallows, and those are actually fruit flavored. So there's like an or there's like different flavors. They're actually quite delicious. Interesting. A little uh, medicine, a little medicine tasting, but yeah, uh, it was good. That's the opposite that's of what I you love are. my marshmallows. To exactly taste right, <laughs> medicine. <laughs> So just uh, a spoonful of marshmallows <laughs> makes the medicine go down. Um, Jeez. Yeah, we uh, and and to top it off is uh, we put M and M's and then he does the the pop tarts on the top and uh, like I do the whole thing like the the matching like he does and then throw it all in your mouth like we do. The oh whole scene, my really. gosh! Wow. And we recite the code of the elves and the whole nine man. It's, what it's is that? So much fun. <laughs> We do we do such a uh, we have such a fun time. What's so the rule code number one of is, the elves? The code of the elves is rule number one: treat every day like Christmas. Mm. Rule number two: there's always room for somebody on the nice list. And rule number three: the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Aww. gotcha. So there you go. Yep, yep. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we had a really good time. I can't believe this. My niece, my niece has her driver's license. She got her driver's license this weekend. I'm oh like, shoot! I'm like Dan is like on the floor practically, and so he's got two kids now driving around, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. Like everyone's growing pretty fast, and I'm just getting older, so that's always fun. Good <laughs> um, gracious! But uh, yeah, it was it was a good time. Uh, this man, this has been like chock full weekend, man. Friday was just a heavy hit of all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, really? So. Uh, episode seven of the Mandalorian was out uh, that mm-hmm. I didn't get a chance to watch. The Witcher series came out That's on right. Netflix. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, I got to see Star Wars at eight o'clock that night with my brother and my nephew. And we we had dinner before and then went to a packed house and uh, and just had a great time together. And uh, and so, yeah, now we're just you know, it's it's Christmas time. So we're um, we're hosting Christmas on Christmas Day. We're going to feed everybody, and, and we'll, of course, we'll do our own. How many people are we talking? Uh, I'm thinking 12 or 13, maybe a little bit more. Not terrible. Not yeah, yeah, manageable, not terrible. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But, um, and, and I think some people will just kind of pop in and then pop out. So, But it, uh, we're, uh, we're all ready, and I think we're set. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. We're having a good time. Um, and go. honestly, that's pretty much it for me. I've just been helping uh, Lauren at the store for a little bit because uh, work is completely kind of shut down now. Yep. So, you know, she had a balloon delivery that had to happen on Saturday. So I helped with that. Well, of course it had to happen. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so, yeah. So yeah, everything's good. And just, I, I can't believe it's Christmas already, man. This is crazy. So it yeah. is crazy. Goodness gracious. So, yep. That's it for me. Edward. Yes, sir. What's going on with you, bruv? Oh man, a little bit, uh, a little more of the same. Uh, just like Tim, uh, Friday morning, Sarah and I went and saw Star Wars and uh, had a good time. It was yeah, nice to get away. Yeah, you saw like the ten forty five one, right? Yeah, yeah. Was so it crowded? Kind of. 
No, no. The nice. The nice thing about living in a small town is that you can go see a movie on opening weekend and you know you'll get a good seat. That's nice. hilarious. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So it was nice. Uh, Sarah finished Uncharted The Lost Legacy this week, which I was wow. super stoked for, super happy about. Um, I played a little bit of the Untitled Goose Game. It's on Game Pass. It's on PlayStation oh, good. as well. And... and I, I had a good time. It's you know, it's a little bit of a puzzler, and I got stuck fairly early on, but I still liked walking around as a goose and annoying people. So, Did you really? I, yeah, the fact that I got stuck, I didn't even bother looking up the answer just because I was just having fun trying to steal and <laughs> trying to untie this kid's shoes. And it was just, so what's the <laughs> point? What's the point? Is it just to cause mischief? Is that it? Pretty much, the very, yeah. yeah, the very first level that you have like a to-do list and it's like, make the gardener get wet, steal this, mm -hmm. take this, make the gardener do this, you know, and so you just have to figure out how to make these things happen. And there were a couple things in the second level that I couldn't figure out how to get myself on TV or how to make, make someone buy their own product back or whatever. So I just wandered around and honked at people and let them chase me oh, and, that's amazing and uh it was fun I, I i know why people have been talking about it all year it's it's been wow. it's, it was a good time hmm, yeah that's amazing. i really enjoyed it <laughs> yes yeah um uh finally got to play the borderlands dlc with sarah oh no um, oh yeah i kept thinking it was coming out i think three different days this week i thought it was actually <laughs> releasing and, yeah you did i'm sorry just, buddy th three different days wow <laughs> well and it's three it's different horrible. disappointments because yeah because the uh gearbox kept promoting they have some sort of program where they i don't know if it's on twitch or even where it is but it's like hey on tuesday check out the moxie dlc chat rather than the dlc uh. Like, it's coming Tuesday, everyone. Be sure and check it out. I was like, yeah, I yeah. can't wait for Tuesday. Yeah. And then it didn't drop. And I was like, oh, oh, they meant tomorrow, Wednesday, because I knew it was this week. Yes. And uh, Wednesday I went and uh, it it uh, wasn't there. <laughs> and so <laughs> yes. Thursday I went Maybe to play. Maybe it'll be this next day. <laughs> yeah. right. So then Thursday they finally were. It was like it's out, everyone. You don't need to download anything. It comes with the game, so you can just jump in and play. I was like, all right. And I, I don't even know what that a, means. It comes with yeah, the game. Yeah, what I, does that it, mean? That doesn't sound in right. In my head, it, in my head, it meant that when you install the game, it installs, but it's locked if you hadn't purchased the DLC. In my right. head. That's how I interpreted it. Yeah, that's, mm. there's uh, no way that's right. Yeah, because when I started the game, there was a 10 gig download. <laughs> oh, geez. And, that was not the case. I got to say, as a guy who frequents your stream, <laughs> I was heartbroken for you because number one, we had the day before where you're like, oh, yeah, Borderlands 3 DLC, come and get it. You ring the dinner bell. <laughs> I got in there. I was like, uh... <laughs> Why is he still playing uh, whatever the freak you were playing? Far Cry. Far Cry. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next day, you're like, all right, sorry about yesterday, guys, but guess what this time? Borderlands 3 DLC coming at ya. Fwa, 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 fwa. <laughs> and then you're like, all right, so I just got to walk up to this poster, and this is where it starts. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, X. I'm sorry. Cross button. And it was yeah, like yeah, yeah. There you cross go. button. Yeah, no and, cross. And it was like, you gotta purchase this. And you were like, gotta I already bought this. And I was like, I'm typing the thing like feverishly. I'm like, well, maybe if you go to purchase this, it'll take you to the next thing where you get to actually say that it just unlocks. And you you heard it. <laughs> Ed's voice and goes, 10 gig download. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well. Is that basically like an all day? So much download, for the stream. For me, it was a three hour download. Uh, oh, wow. So, yeah. Geez. So instead, I went to my number nine of the year game, GTA 5, and I shot everybody I could find. <laughs> nice. In a, yeah, in a, in a rage. rage. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was hoping was, that you started over at 10 again, but I was like, if he ain't got that VR up and going, that's going to be too much <laughs> downtime. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, played a little bit of over, of Overwatch just to get this week's nine wins. Um, there was a bit of a struggle for me this week. I was having a hard time with Overwatch. Mm. Uh, and then um, but, but Sarah and I played the Borderlands DLC then Thursday night and had a blast. We played it Friday night. Saturday, 
We hopped in with Frankie. It was Sarah's first time actually chatting online with someone oh, while she oh. played. What better person to oh, chat wow. with than Frankie? Yeah, it was. That's fun. And, and it, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And it just hit me because, you know, she has her own account. I was like, I wonder if we can actually both chat um, from the same console at once. And I was really glad that it worked. And uh, so that was a lot of fun. Frankie was a, a ton of fun. Sarah of just course. kept looking at me and just kind of like, he's so cute. I was like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Adorable is an adjective that should be used for him. Adorable, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Adorable. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. And then uh, today, yesterday, I finished Control. I beat Control. I can't wow. I don't even well know done, anymore, anymore. Check. Yeah. I, I, I went back in. And I, I uh, totally changed up how I was playing. I've got uh -huh. the skill tree. And instead of kind of like spreading out all of my skills, I just took two skills and just filled them up, the ones that yes. I used the most. And and I felt the difference. Um, so it was <laughs> obviously. It was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was I wow. mean, because, you know, the, the boss battles that took me an hour and a half before I was beating on the third try this time. Uh, wow. So it was, nice. It was nice. Um, it was uh it was it was now that i finished it it's uh, because i wanted to finish it before i didn't quit it because i wasn't enjoying it i just couldn't beat i couldn't progress yes yes yes. and so it wasn't that i didn't like the game i just really wanted to get further and i really enjoyed it it's it's def it's definitely different it's very interesting um it definitely deserved the uh the award i got was it art direction art Is direction the, yeah um, yeah mm -hmm. uh definitely deserved that just because it's just such a if I wanted to do what they did in the game, I wouldn't even know how to begin to describe my vision of what I was seeing. Wow. Uh, so just the fact that they were able to all cohesively catch someone's vision and, mm -hmm. and create it, I thought was so impressive. Um, so, yeah, I don't I think I understand the ending. <laughs> oh, man. Shoot. Really? Nice. But it wasn't it wasn't so vague that I was mad. I was kind of like, all right. You know, I didn't expect everything to be laid out and unfolded and tidied sure up with a little nice little bow but uh but yeah it was it was fun i will probably go back again and try to do some more uh things i wasn't able to do some side missions i didn't finish out hmm. but um yeah i i was glad i finished it i wanted to finish it before the, my end of the year list and i, I was mm. glad that i did so it was a good week good man that's awesome yeah. awesome man good yeah. deal I, Abe, in all my excitement i totally forgot to update on on gameplay oh. <laughs> for what i was playing i just skipped like everything i, I was figured like, it oh, only yeah. been a couple days maybe you hadn't played i'm though. not i'm not playing any no man i'm back in bloodborne i, I defeated the second boss oh and, nice and okay. you know, go keep going through man i definitely have to pull the chris mccracken and get some youtube walkthroughs because i'm in old yarnum now and i'm like i don't know what i'm doing and i'm getting <laughs> killed and i don't know why but yes. uh it's still great like as as uh sean capri had said it's like it's a great loop because now that i've got a few locations i can go in mm -hmm. just start hitting some fools up getting some blood echoes going back and kind of upgrading so now i'm just in this kind of loop and it's great okay. so uh just uh, man i am I can't believe I'm saying this. I am really jo enjoying this game. I never thought wow. I'd be playing a game like this, and I'm having a great time with it. This so is a year of change. Yeah, right? What the I'm, heck? I'm growing. Right here at the end, you and Ed both, like, you guys both, <laughs> like, Ed usually would have rage quit Force Awakens or what Force Unleashed, whatever this game is called. Either one. Either one. Yeah. <laughs> and he would have Force quit, uh, rage quit control, but he didn't, yeah, and he went that. back. And started over again and finished both games. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Who are That's we, Tim? I know, right? I mean, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, and I'm old. But look at me. <laughs> Here look you at are. me now, everybody. Some bark in them. Yes, yeah, still right, able to baby. get the That's fleas right. off you. You tell, man. You tell them. <laughs> I love it. Sorry to interrupt. I got so no. upset I totally forgot to, to mention great. that. But it's been great. So I'm on YouTube walkthroughs and Bloodborne. Yeah, it's the way nice. to do it, man. Yeah. YouTube walkthroughs. Don't, don't hate on them. No, Use no, them. not in this Use case. Them. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Chris McCracken. Yes, man. It feels like I was just talking to you guys yesterday. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I was sitting here thinking like, right. oh, what have I been doing? Oh, man. Not not a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this past Saturday, we did have our family Christmas on my mother's side of the family. So we went and met up with a bunch of aunts and uncles and grandparents and cousins and everything like that had a little gift exchange and just hung out ate a lot of really good food 
and honestly, like outside of work, that's literally the only thing that I've done. Really? Um, yeah, we did oh, that wow. Saturday. Uh, and then on Sunday, which was today, we, we had just a bunch of running around. Actually, I guess that's not exactly true. We did meet up with my stepmother over there as well, but it wasn't quite as big of a gathering as it was with, um, with the other family on Saturday. Uh -huh. We did exchange some gifts there because uh, my stepsister was gonna be the only time that she had. Unfortunately, she works, her schedule's a little crazy around the holidays and we're gonna be heading out of town mm -hmm. during uh, yeah, the Christmas, right. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. So we did meet up with them as well today, um, but it wasn't quite an all day affair, whereas yesterday's was much more of a, a longer stint. Um, and then in, in amongst all the other little last minute gift getting and wrapping and stuff that we're trying to tidy up as we're about to be heading out to Oklahoma, which is where we're going to be going for Christmas. And um, we're leaving on go. Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. um, and outside of that, it's really just been at work. It's been wrapping everything up. I do have to go in tomorrow on Monday. I'm I'm hoping it'll be about a half day. I don't really know for sure. It kind of just depends if we're able to square everything off right at the very end. But because we're looking to be off a week and almost a week and a half, we need to really make sure that every, all the you know I's are dotted and everything and everything's where it needs to be perfectly. So it could bleed into all day, but I'm not mad at that. I mean, I'm going to be in like vacation mode. I mean, it's just hard to not get <laughs> yeah, right out of vacation course. mode the minute that, that all that kinds of stuff starts. Yeah. So I'm trying to make sure that I rein that in and, and focus and get the stuff that I need to get done done. But looking forward to it because it's it's you know everybody's all excited and everything with the holidays coming and it's it's a lot of fun to just reminisce and everything with coworkers in and amongst getting things done. Um, on the gaming front, really I haven't done anything. I did. Uh, I think I mentioned it last week. I also picked up uh, the Untitled Goose game. I did jump into it a little bit this morning. Stacy wanted to watch to see if it was a game that she might be interested in playing. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I, she played a little bit of it, but like literally, so so, the first little area that you get to, and there's this gardener guy, and you're kind of jacking in with him, and you, you have a <laughs> list, and you've yeah. got to fulfill this list, and then you can kind of move on to the other area. We so we fulfilled the first list, but didn't we walked into the second area, but we didn't do anything over there. Okay, so I haven't really gotten very far, and I don't know how long the game is. If I had to yeah. guess, it's probably like a few hours I, I i would imagine but i have no real clue that's just me totally shooting in the dark at how long it might be um yeah i'm having a lot of fun with it kind of the same thing as ed like i it's just fun to go in there and honk at things and and the music's cute and the little the goose waddles around and everything like yeah. that. you gotta you gotta learn how to control it because when he waddles fast he doesn't turn as quick and sometimes you need to turn fast to get away from the people when you're stealing their stuff that is so, so weird yeah, that's amazingly it's, weird it's just fun to to Go in there and create mischief. It's just, I don't know. It's its oddly soothing to just go it's in It's called there the Untitled Goose this. or Uncommon Goose, or what's it called? Untitled, Untitled Goose, Goose game. game. Untitled Goose Game. Jeez. Yes. Wow. And again, it's, which I know <laughs> this isn't going to matter for Router because his isn't plugged in, but it's free on Game Pass. <laughs> you have that route. Sign me up, Mac. Let's <laughs> yeah. go. You could totally do it that way. Yeah. I bought it on PlayStation because I am going to be go ahead and go for the platinum on it because it does have one so I'm Ooh, to do that. unless what? i just end up hating the game which at this point i'm not anticipating that being the case at all so yeah. but wow. really that's that's been the only thing that i played i i fired up apex a couple times and fired up call of duty a couple times and then yeah. right at that time that i fired it up and i'm about to get into a match and get things going my name gets called and there's things we need to do I'm like that's oh, right about that and shut it right back down <laughs> yeah so been didn't there really man play much of anything else besides a little bit of the goose game this morning that's nice. awesome. That has been it for me. I like it. Nice. Go ahead, Mr. Patillo. Oh, well, um, uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, I think this is going to be uh, the last. Uh, listen, I've struggled <laughs> through a lot. All right. Um, but the wife was asking. We were watching Saturday Night Live before we got out here. And we've mm -hmm. been watching a lot of Suits lately. You ever heard of that show, Suits? Oh, yeah. 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 So no. uh, it's a show, I guess I saw it a long time ago because it's like all nine seasons on Amazon Prime. <laughs> right. And so that's mm -hmm. what we're watching it on. And we were like, she was like, you know what? These stories just happen like whatever. Like, is there something we could watch together that's a little bit more Christmassy? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And I was like, well, you know, it's funny you asked because Ooh. I actually had gone to the red box to try oh, to just okay. look for something to try to surprise her with, you know, just yeah, like, yeah, like Hey, let's get a right. movie. So I've got one of these and for some reason it spit the other one out for free. So I've got two. Oh, wait, nice. You got a two nice. first. I got a two go. for one. It's a BOGO. You know what I'm saying? No, a BOGO. Yeah. 
So could you guys help and see which one? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Sure. Right. Yeah. <laughs> After a sorceress transports <laughs> medieval knight Sir Cole to present day Ohio during the holiday season. Cole. As happens right. occasionally. Cole. Yeah. Totally yes. where you go, Ohio. Sir, Sir Cole. I didn't know they were naming people Cole back then, but Sir Cole. Cole. He befriends Brooke, a clever and kind science teacher who's been disillusioned by love. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Haven't we all at some that point? Happens. Right? Yeah. Happens to all science teachers. Brooke helps Sir Cole navigate the modern world and tries to help him discover how to fulfill his mysterious one true quest. The hmm. one act that will return him home. But okay. as he and Brooke grow closer, Sir Cole begins to wonder just how much he wants to return to his old life. Uh -huh. 2019's. Wait, 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 can Ooh. I guess the name? Starring Vanessa Hudgens. Wait, Cole yeah. for Christmas? Nope. Ah, oh, I was going there too, Ed. I was right there with you. You ready? Yeah. Yep. yep. The night. Before Christmas. Oh! <laughs> wow. I the know. night before Christmas. Oh. All right. All right. Well, there's so here's the one. other one. This was that, that was the one I paid rigged. for because it's 2019. Oh, oh it's, yeah, the whole the freebie. Oh, yeah, it, that was Vanessa freebie. Hudgens. I was like, of course. Did you yeah. get your money back? Mm -hmm. Well, I, we haven't watched it. I'm, you guys are helping me decide. I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. Why? yeah. Okay. So here's the can. other one. Okay. <laughs> After seeing his parents murdered in front of him, Jeez, a young boy murders. spends most of his life in an orphanage where he is abused by the mother superior. Ooh. When Ooh. he becomes a teenager, he gets a job as a toy store Santa. Ooh. When seeing two people in the store brings on flashbacks of his parents, his turmoil leads him to become a Santa serial killer. 1984's Ooh, good year. Silent Night, Deadly Night. Deadly Night. Nice. I remember seeing that box in my video store. I yeah. remember seeing that box too. I'm seeing that box, box in my house. Sure. I know. Nice. Um, so, I know. I the mean, Night Before Christmas or Silent Night, Deadly Night. Look, they're both kind of snuggle up by the fire and, and aren't they? Comfy. Aren't they? <laughs> Have, yeah. I mean, we've all used a horror movie to get closer to a lady, right? That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're both snuggly movies. Well, they're like, oh, just, we've all seen poison. the video to uh, the thriller. You know, Michael yeah. Jackson's there with the yep. girls. Girl, she's scared. She in his arms. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And I don't, I don't see any. Um, just in the previews that I've watched to get ready for this, I don't see any chiseled chins. Mm. That I'd have to worry mm. about in the night before Christmas. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So the night before Christmas, she might be like, "Ooh, he's so handsome." I don't got to worry about that in Silent Night, Deadly Night. Oh, right, right, right. True, right. true, it's true. It's probably the last one of the year, y'all, unless I'm feeling, you know, some kind of way next week. Wow. <laughs> feel some type of way. Sometimes you do feel some kind of way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. I'm going Silent Night, Deadly Night. Okay, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Ed, you have a vote. You know what? Just because last week you did the Ginger Dead Man, you might want to mix it up. The and trilogy, go the night before Christmas. That's true. That's true. Last yeah, week was a, a was a, a. I mean, even Hollywood Bones got in on that one. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> yeah, that was. Crazy. I'm going with the first one as well. That's the one I choose. The All night right. before Christmas. Yep. All right. Oh, man, there it is. All right, the night before Christmas. Babe. It's tough, but you know we got through it. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna watch the night before Christmas <laughs> with a K. Huh? <laughs> okay. All right. She says nice. she's gonna find a DVD player and try to hook it up to the television. Nice, nice. Well <laughs> yeah. played. Well played. Mm -hmm. Um, kids are out of school, and so we yeah. are uh, chilling pretty much, trying to get everything orchestrated. Um, mm -hmm. We've we've. You know what's weird? This year we didn't go see Santa. He just happened to pop up in a couple places that we were at, which is perfect. Yeah. And so oh, okay, so yeah. Santa to just pop up. Yeah. And so yes, that, the kids right. kind of got their picture with Santa in a Mexican restaurant. As he would. It's terrible. Yeah, really? You know, instead of like the mall where he's usually chilling at, that it, Santa we was We did busy. that today, by the way. Yep. Oh, did you? 
Yep. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know if in the next couple of days we'll go see Santa in the mall. But as of not right now, we have uh, we have pictures of them in uh, Tito's a Mexican restaurant with Santa Claus. Nice. <laughs> That, hey, hey, that joker it's, came in with 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 the the sleigh bells and everything right when he hit yep. the door. Shing, shing, shing. We're like, it's, oh, it's snap. Giving. Oh yep. man, I was like, come on over here, Santa. He was like, hey, well, look at these nice little kids. I was like, all right, let's get a picture. We ain't got to wait in line. That's so he right. wasn't there as a patron. He was just making the rounds. He was Santa. You ever seen Santa eat someplace, man? Santa's busy this time of year. You got to go around and see the kids. Yeah, I, know, I ain't but... see him eat as much as a chip. Wow, and their I chips know, and huh? yeah. queso are delicious. He too. worked. He worked on that belly at other times of the year. This right That's now, he's putting in work. That's good though, because you know, if he was there eating, like I, you shouldn't go and bother him. Let the man eat. Right, let the man. No, eat. man, he yeah. came in. I know. I'm ho, just saying, ho, if ho. he had been, if he had just been oh, there yeah. eating, you yes. should you just leave the man be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. at least like, Navi died. Everybody, guys, yeah. that he wasn't eating. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to end up like you know my buddy that ran into uh, what's his name, Captain Kirk. Y'all know that story. Oh. Y'all know when my oh. friend met Captain Kirk? I don't refresh our memories. That. Oh man. Did he did he did he cross him? Did he make him did he, did he make a faux pas? I can't remember this story, Gabe. When did you no, tell it? I, I, listen, my buddy, you know they say <laughs> don't meet your don't meet your heroes. Oh god. Yeah, Especially my, not Captain Kirk. Yeah, yes. not Captain Kirk. Not James T. Kirk, Bishop. No. So my buddy's at the airport. And he sees Captain Kirk. This is years ago. This is before he was a Priceline negotiator. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) You go, William Shatner. He's sitting there. He's sitting there reading a newspaper with a PYT next to him. You don't know what that is? Ask your parents. And my buddy walks up to him. He was like, sir. He's got his napkin and his Sharpie. He's like, are you William Shatner? And he said, William Shatner looked up at him and said, used to be, kid. And wow. he was like, oh, well. What? That's like an old Western. Isn't it? Used to be, kid. Yeah. He was like, well, can I have your autograph? He was like, no. Oh. <laughs> they say just like his arms just dropped, Sharpie and, and napkin in hand. Oh. And he just walked away. I was like, you got shattered? He was like, oh, yeah, you got shattered. <laughs> he did get shattered. Wow. So for a whole tour, every time we wanted to tell somebody no, we were like, you've been shattered. Nice. Yeah. The answer is oh. no. No, you can't. Classic Shatner. Classic, Classic. Shatner. Woo. Oh, that old Shatner. Yeah, so I haven't been Shatnering anybody this Christmas. Nope. I've been trying to tell everybody yes. Yep. Um, and so on the gaming front, uh, <laughs> I have, um, uh, I don't know if I've played anything since we last recorded the podcast nice. a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, um, I mean, it was so it long ago. Yeah, yeah. Been, yeah, exactly. Um, everybody, as as you noticed, this podcast very early because this is one of those weird years where Christmas falls in the middle of the week, and so yeah. we couldn't do the show as regular. Uh, we have done the show pretty close to Christmas before, but this year is yeah. just too close to try to record on Wednesday. Is Christmas. Um, mm. and so, but I did, I got to give a big shout out to Chalfie, our boy, West coast, the best coast, fresh coast. He, uh, heard me talking about control and he was like, I got it. You want me to send it to you? You can at least play it before the DLC drops and I need it back. I was like, yeah, I'll give it a try. And so may mailed it out here to me. So I, I installed control today on the PS4. Nice. So I'm, oh, man, uh, nice. Excited to jump into that. I really want to try that. And... The rental place called. <gasps> the car rental place. The car rental place about the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They say they haven't seen it. Uh, oh. uh, but at least you got the closure. <laughs> no. Here's that's the problem. True. The closure, yeah. Yeah, you wanted the closure. Yeah, you said you did. I did want, want closure, closure, but here's the problem. Yeah. Oh. I turned the car in at 7. They sent it back out at 9.30. And I said, so do you think anybody even really looked in the car? He goes, right. I, they're supposed to, but you know, it was a quick turnaround. Yeah, but don't they have to clean? They still got to clean it out at least, right? Like, look Yeah, but I didn't leave and... it dirty. I didn't, barely drove in it. It's not like I had wrappers and stuff all like that. Right, right. So this is what I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, geez. I know. Okay. I've got to hold on to hope until, until Christmas. They no, say you know, that, you just want enclosure. It, I know. Trust me. So they... <laughs> They um they said the car's been rented out four times since oh, I geez. rented it. 
that thing's gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely gone. Yeah. I love but you, but that thing's gone. He did say he put a pause on the car. So when the car comes back on Christmas, they know not to send it right back out, but to really look it over. Yeah, all right. And, and it could be a Christmas miracle. It could be. It's true. Ed Placencia? It, ain't he on the throne? He's on the throne. He's and he's got a cup of coffee in his hand. Yeah, and let me ask you another question. <laughs> and won't he do it? Oh, he might. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He might do it. He can. It's he's the in season. That he's in that manger. He might show Let's out. Go. You never know. He won't. <laughs> <laughs> As he take calmly takes a sip of water. Yeah, he probably won't, but so go, I don't think I don't think he will either. This is my only hope. Yeah. Say I put the Nintendo where I think I put it, which is okay. down in the in the driver's door. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. How often are you down in there when you rent a car? Right. Not very. Not very. So there could be a small chance inside of the car is black, case is black, down there in the side. You don't pay it no mind. It might have floated there before. snug? People. I don't remember. I don't even remember putting it down there. I'm just guessing. Oh. It's there. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I got in a real car and opened that door and do do, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, oh, a so Nintendo. I'm it was nice and snug, so it wasn't making any noise, nothing. I wow. know. Uh, I know. I, it's probably gone. But I got to hope against hope mm. and uh, and suspend reality for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, and you know what? At least you got a phone call. I like that. True. At least you got yeah. a call. I, I was like, at least heard from somebody. Yeah, yeah I was something. like, how? I said, how, what's a better way to get a hold of y'all? Because I've called four times every day since the twelfth, and you calling me on the twentieth. Nice. And he was like, uh, you know, just I, I got the first email that you called today, so I'm giving you a call. Oh wow! wow. I was like, what? So wow. Fox Way to go Rental customer cars, service. Get your stuff together. Get your life together. Seriously. <laughs> oh, well. Router. Yes. Do you barely got it? I got nothing. Back to you. Well, let's do it. <laughs> Back to you. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. You said you had nothing. Sorry. Need to do the bump into the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. No, that's fine. No, actually, I have absolutely nothing. There's I, there's, I don't think there's anything out, um, at least nothing that has been posted no. until uh, this the, until the new year. So I'll have some, something <laughs> yeah. for you in the new year. Yeah, we will. Um, this is our game of the year episode. So mm-hmm. as you're mm-hmm. listening, be thinking about what your games of 2019 are and we mm-hmm. will uh and we'll be able to talk about that next week that'll be nice and fun yeah um but since this is the christmas episode it's usually shorter than our regular episodes and it's mm-hmm. on video and so if you're yes, listening to this and you're like oh yeah you can go to youtube.com <laughs> slash buried to the games and you can see tim ed and chris up there it's a good time i know i wish i could make your tooth as you said, yeah, Just throwing um, those special effects there and uh, <laughs> yeah, make exactly, that mm-hmm. yeah. I went uh, the first step to doing that, um, but we do have a little bit of news for everybody. So, uh, Chris McCracken, why don't you uh, bust us off with sign? Yes, uh, so we know that The Witcher is a little hot right now because the Netflix series has come out. Of course, it's mm-hmm. been hot for a really long time, but it's back, kind of thrust into the news. Yes, and we got a few more things to go along with The Witcher news. And that, and is by the, the way, author- you said you watched it. Right? You yes, and I did. Tim. That show is not safe for children. No. Well, well, yeah, of course not. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm just saying. I just want to be very clear. Stacey was like, if you mention this show, you got to tell them it's not good for kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not good for kids. Yeah. Thanks, People mom. Watch kids watching it. Yeah. Um, it is yeah, mature it's... audiences only. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think there's eight, eight episodes in this season one. So, yeah, we, we kind of we blasted through four of them one day and then blasted through the other four today oh nice well, how did you what did you think yeah. overall I, what grade i enjoyed do you it give overall it? what what would i grade it b b b b minus b b b b b b b i'd give it a b i'd give it a b oh yeah. what uh, not a b minus no just b hey, b so, is pretty what, good what was that cheeky smile you gave him? Like, gave no, it, give it a B because he really wants to give it a well, C, but he knows thing, I'm right it's there. It's funny because I thought Gabe didn't want me to really talk about what I thought. So no, I did want. I just didn't want to hear it till the show. 
Right. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, so you, in that to, case, to kind of equate it to video, like I, I was not a huge fan of uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. And mm -hmm. I know that I'm not okay. necessarily trying to link these two together, but I'm, I know just to, but a lot of people have, have drawn here, that man. parallel, though. Yeah. Even yes. though I wasn't a huge fan of Game of Thrones, I can absolutely see of the episodes that I did watch, and then I watched a lot of the behind the scenes kind of stuff. That is to relate it to like video games tiers. That was a triple A game. Mm -hmm. Like when yeah. you look at that, like the, the Game of Thrones was the, the, the way that that was done and everything. Yes, yes it was triple A okay. like quality all the way. Yes. You know, in terms of the technical and all that kinds of stuff. Yeah. Right. I would call The Witcher like a double A. Like, oh, really? Not quite there. Like there's things where you're like, mm, that's a little off to be like competing in Game of Thrones range of like technical spectrum. Yeah, man. Right. But it's not like low rung at all. Let me ask you it's this like, though, Christopher. Like, How did, uh, let me ask you this. Uh -huh. How does it compare to maybe the very first season of Game of Thrones? Because what Game of Thrones became was probably slightly yeah. different than what it was when it first came out the gate. This is this is The Witcher's first out the gate. Well, and I wonder if it was been a little closer. I mean, I know that it, it got better, but the only episodes I really watched were from season one. OK, so, gotcha. Well, okay. That's, that's what I'm comparing. What I was saying, yeah, I'll say with The Witcher, there's a few things that come on that you're like, that's very clearly CG. Oh, Whereas sure. in Game of Thrones, the things I thought, it's like, even though like my head's like, oh, there's not really that thing there. Yes. But it, I'm, I'm convinced. It looks really yeah. dang good. Okay, there's okay. a few times where you just have a little bit of that, mm, that's just a little off. But okay. there's other times where it's like, I know that's fake, but that looks really good. But yeah. not as bad as Henry Cavill's mustache being gone as no, Superman. No, no, no. <laughs> Which, by the way, I will say, Mm -hmm. Cavill knocks it out of the park, man. Cavill, does he? Great, he does an absolutely Cavill's amazing. great job. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Good. I really enjoy it. And the, the structure of the way that they do the episodes is a little odd. But once you kind of get your head wrapped around what they're doing, I think it's it's cool. But it took a little bit like, I was probably three or so episodes in before I was like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. And mm -hmm. you did not so. play Witcher 3, is that correct? No, I did not. Okay. I haven't played any Witcher game. I've seen a lot of YouTube stuff and, and watched Let's Plays and things like that of various parts, but no, I've never played one. Gotcha. Okay, so I played, what, two months worth of uh, The Witcher 3. Mm -hmm. I was super excited for this series. I am in episode six right now. Mm -hmm. I would give it an A. Okay, all right. Hands down, right. hands down. I would also say as a fan of Game of Thrones and have watched all the seasons and have actually watched it twice. Mm -hmm. The oh, combat wow, twice. the combat in The Witcher is amazing. The choreography is uh -huh. better than Game of Thrones. What did Piper opinion. think? Oh, she loved it. Absolutely <laughs> loved it. Absolutely loved it. So anyway. I can't wait to play it. I, know, I honestly, I want to go back and play Witcher 3 now. Like it kind of wow. got, really? it, it got me really excited. Cavill, you, you you know my the first words I said when we first got that screen grab. I'm like, well, this is gonna suck, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, I, yes. I will eat those words from here to wow. eternity now. Wow. Because he does a he, good job. He does a great job. And we had just finished watching the Tudors, which is a Showtime special about Henry the Eighth, and he's in that as well. Very young. This was like 2010 or so. So this is like early in his career. So I I like him. I liked him as his character in that as well. I love him as Geralt. He's a wow. great Geralt. Mm -hmm. Does he reload so his a, arms ever? Kush, kush. Does he what? Like in, in Mission Impossible. Remember he reloads oh. his, his biceps that one time in that fight in Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise? Oh, I don't, He's like, kush, I don't kush. that. Whoa, you don't remember was that? Mission was that Mission Impossible? That Henry Cavill was in? Yeah, I didn't I, I, I didn't remember know that. seeing the ads, but I, I didn't go see oh, it. Oh, so man, I yeah, he Mission reloaded his biceps. Awesome. Huh, okay. <laughs> But I can't I, believe um, you guys don't know I, that. I'm glad you liked that bicep reload. It was yeah, it was go. all over the place. Look at these guns, baby. Yeah, Let's go. No, it looked a little different than that. Yeah, right. Just a little. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Yeah, a those look like, those look like a but, seven year old soccer uh, coach arms. There you go. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I um I do agree, Chris. I think some of it, from what I've seen already, it's like, yeah, you can kind of tell it's not. It, it's not all polished. It's getting there. It's, it's getting it's there. It's really, and really close. And I've talked to a lot of friends who, A, have played The Witcher or who were very excited. 
They all love it. They're all yeah. in. So I think this is going to get a season two, no problem. And I think the production they've already, value they've already, they, they, they okay it before it was out season two. Yeah. Before season one, even dropped nice. on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sure did. Wow. So I, I am, I'm all in with this. I'm very excited about this. I, uh, you know, I've been, I, I've been plowing through it. Uh, I don't think, Lauren even wants to watch it. She's like, "Is there a love story?" I'm like, Meh. "Yeah, I wouldn't call it love." I yeah, call it love, but <laughs> yeah. we'll see. But yeah. um, but it's you can it's, use that word to describe some things. But. Sure, sure. <laughs> like I love the combat, but that's about as far as it goes. I thought you were gonna say I love this part. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I, I'm glad, Chris. I'm glad you you, you enjoyed it because mm-hmm. I know you didn't play The Witcher, and I know you. you didn't really watch Game of Thrones. So this is coming from somebody who doesn't really isn't involved in the whole fantasy lore of that right. too much. But yeah. I love the fact that you enjoyed it. And um, and so that that's great. And I do agree with you know, like the timeline stuff is a mm-hmm. little weird at first, but you get used to it and then you start to really follow it. I, I got to say, like, these are like no name actors besides Cavill and they're killing it. Like they're re- they're that's really awesome. good. The acting is really good in this. Good, so. good, good. Sorry, Chris, what were you going to say? For for somebody who, um, like me, who didn't play the games, and familiar with the lore, because, you know, being yeah. a gamer, I know about the games and kind of a little bit. Um, I would say the first two episodes, I was really like, eh, I don't really know if I'm mm. digging this or not. Yeah. And then it definitely picked, I would say from three on, it, <laughs> yep. it definitely picked up for me. Oh, yeah, good. I but think if you're someone I, who one, wasn't much into the games. You might want to stick it out for at least till about four, halfway yep. through, and then you should That's know. That's how stuff goes, you right? Stick with. Yeah, I agree. I thought one was actually kind of out the gate, boom, and then two slowed down, and then three, and now like three, and now I'm up to six. It's like it's moving now. I'm like, okay, we're we're good. And honestly, I think that's kind of the way Game of Thrones was a little bit too. And and it's hard. Like a lot of series are like that. Like the first episode, the first couple, you could be like, eh, but uh, yeah, like once three really kicks in, then you're like, okay, you're you're vested mm-hmm. in it and, and you're ready to go. So yeah. Awesome. But I, I love it, Chris. I'm glad you you watched it and, and you yeah. went through it. And I'm, I can't wait to finish it. And I've been telling everybody about it. I love it. Well, to tie back into the news story part of it. So the author of the original Witcher series had struck that deal with CD Projekt Red, obviously, for them to be able to make the games. And then they kind of had a bit of a breakup because the author said, like, look, I should be getting 16 million or so mm-hmm. royalties, even yep. though he was the one who sat there and said, like, I don't want a royalty deal. Like, I don't want to get, like, a percentage. Mm-hmm. I want all my money up front because y'all aren't going to get squat out of this. Yep. But he kind of worked out some some uh, law that is in their country where he's like, look, basically, regardless of that, I should be entitled to this. And so there was kind of this this back and forth. And it was even so though ridiculous. I feel like CD Projekt Red has kind of said or alluded to Witcher 3 was the end of the road, Yeah. you knew for right. sure if these two are, like, at odds in, it was not going to happen. Well... They came out and said that they have both CD Projekt Red and the author have come to a mutually agreed terms to continue a, a license. So it absolutely opens up the door that there could be more Witcher games, or at the very least, more games that are in the Witcher lore and the Witcher yeah, world. Right. If it doesn't actually deal with Geralt, you know, that's to be determined. And at the moment, you know, CD Projekt Red is totally wrapped up in in Cyberpunk twenty twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyways, or twenty twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty seventy seven. Twenty seventy seven. Twenty seventy seven. Twenty seventy seven. That's right. So anything which related is probably going to be a good number of years off, regardless. Oh yeah. But this leaves that door open now, whereas before yeah. it just felt like, oh yeah, that thing's shut, and it's probably getting the deadbolts coming. Here it comes, and uh, and then finally it just opened right back up. So I well, love and we have Project the... Red, and good on the author for coming together. Well, yep. We have and, to remember uh, too, though, that exclusive. CD Projekt Red had the legal grounds to do whatever they wanted, right? right. So you yes. know, even without that guy's, without the author's okay, and I know he brought up a stinker. We actually talked about it on the show, and yep. Yep, and talked about mm-hmm. how ridiculous it was at the time that you can be like, no. I want my money now. You know, it's almost mm-hmm. like the prodigal son story, right? Like, give me my money. And it's like, come back like, hey, so uh, I was just kidding about all that. Yeah, I spent it. Right. <laughs> um, but it's like, uh, yeah. I'm just glad that CD Projekt Red had the wherewithal to be like, you're right. We've made a bunch of money on this. And we were wanting to give you royalty in the first place. So let's mm-hmm. just all, you know, skip into the yeah, that agreement. Good on yeah. them. Yeah. 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 Uh, man, they are... They're a fantastic developer, man. I've just, they're everything that they've done so far has been Mm -hmm. like just good quality, ethical stuff. And I I love it. I think it's great. And they had to be, to be 
to be the bigger person was on them was on cd project yeah. red you yeah. know what i'm saying the yep, author yeah. is the one that wrote an open letter saying that he was ridiculously underpaid and you're like yeah, but nobody knew. Like, nobody got a time machine. You know what I'm saying? This is not right. Hill right. Valley here. Hindsight you know? 2020, man. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, This was kind of fun. Um, These are, uh, this is from businessinsider.com. They put together the top 10 games of the last decade according to reviews aggregated on Metacritic, which is very popular. Um, yeah, you know, that's the that's I think it's probably the first place I look for a lot of entertainment that and uh, once uh, Jared or introduced me to open critic. I go there as well. Um, mm. So I'm just mm. going to run down their top 10 games of the decade. OK, sound good. Yeah, sounds good. All right. Number 10 portal Two. critic. We heard that a lot last week. Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Critic score 95 yeah. out of 100 user score nine out of 10. Mm, okay. Red Dead Redemption, the first one. Critic Ooh, score yep. 95 out of 100. User score 8.9 out of 10. Huh. Uh, Why is that number 9 instead of 10? I think because they're probably going by critic score, not user score. I'm just telling okay. them. Mm-hmm. Uh, 8, The Last of Us, of course, Ooh. 95 out of 100. User score 9.2 out of 10. Love that. Huh. Love mm-hmm. that okay. game. 7, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Wow. Okay. Critic score 96 out of 100. User score 8.5 out of 10. Oh, wow. That's for the bugs. Yeah, exactly. Number six, Mass Effect 2. Ooh. Ooh okay. Critic score 80, uh, 96 out of 100. User score 8.9 out of 10. Uh, five, Super Mario Odyssey, which I totally agree okay. with. That's a great game. Uh, 97 out of 100 critic score, user score 9.0 uh, out of 10. Four, I mean, der, Grand Theft Auto 5, 96 <laughs> mm-hmm. out of 100, user score 7.8 out of 10. Oh, wow. Um, which is weird, right? That must be an early, people voted early. and the, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It feels like that game yeah. Yeah. was the gift that kept on giving. Number three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2. They got wow. both them jokers out here. Critic score 97 out of 100. User score 7.7 7 out of 10. Really? Yeah, that's wow. crazy. Red Dead 2. Number two, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Critic yeah. score 97 out of 100. User score 8.4 out of 10. Y'all know it was my game of the huh. year a couple years ago. Yeah. And number one, this okay. was a surprise to me personally. Super Mario Galaxy 2, 97 out of 100 critic score, user score 9.1 out of 10. Huh. On huh. the Wii, released on May 23rd, 2010. <laughs> what? Just wow. made it in there. I didn't play Galaxy or Galaxy 2, but I do remember, especially when Galaxy came out, I remember it being a big deal. And then when really? Galaxy 2 came out, I remember it being a big deal, but because I didn't play it, I didn't really follow it. I had a Wii, but right. I never I never played that one. So, wow. I don't know. A lot I don't really of, hear that in a lot of conversations anymore. I I don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like it had that staying power either. Right? Yeah. Um, but, uh, of course, Skyrim wow. being on here makes perfect sense. That was mm-hmm. like the game that you could play on everything. Uh, even down yeah. to yeah. the Amazon Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh shoot, I'm not talking to you. I was just trying to say, get out of here. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> that Alexa got him. It gets you every time. Um, glad that the Last of Us is on here. Red Dead being on here twice is crazy. I've never played either yeah, of sucks. them. And then yeah, we heard a lot about we heard a lot about Portal. Mm-hmm. Chris, you had some uh, feelings about this top 10 was it just galaxy being on no, there well I, i'm not i'm not sure like it seems like if it's based off solely out of critic scores yep. i mean i know they had the user score on here but I, i'm thinking it's just yeah it's got to be critic that's the only one that went the, up, the up, critic up, scores. up up yep then i guess that kind of makes sense because i expected god of war to be on here somewhere but i yep. think it's metacritic ended up right around a 94 which would put it below even the the number uh, 10, right. which 90 it's 95 and above so that kind of makes sense like to me i 
I'm just glad that we did our own lists. Obviously, yep. yeah. my list skews more towards my interest in particular, but I just mean even like for when you look at the ones from our community, I, it seems more. I don't know. I don't I mean, think I, I Mario don't Galaxy get, Two I don't get was Galaxy on Galaxy being on here. Any of the ones that I, I saw. Yeah, I don't get Galaxy being on here, and I honestly don't get uh, Odyssey being on here either. I know that you said that it's great, yeah. and I, and I haven't played it, so yeah. you know there's that to be said. Odyssey is real like, good, homie. I mean, I hear you, but it's like, like I can understand Breath of the Wild because they reinvented that. Like, yeah, yes, you have New Donk City and you've got the throw the hat, but it's like Mario seems like Mario. I've watched a lot of gameplay of Mario Odyssey, and I'm uh -huh. not saying that there's not cool stuff there, but it just mm. it seems like more Mario to me. Yeah, I understand Odyssey being there. Yeah. I understand some of these, or not? Excuse me, not Odyssey. Uh, Breath of the Wild being here, yeah. and a couple other ones, but all these critic scores are super high. So if that's your main criteria for putting it on this list, that makes total sense. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, mm -hmm. when I played Odyssey, I hadn't played a Mario game since probably Mario Wii. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Uh, which yeah. was a great game too. I love a side scroll in action. Um, and I didn't play, and this is, I know, as a gamer, it's this is hard to hear, but I didn't play Mario 64, which seemed to be the other huge mario right there's like did the, you have a mario uh, i mean an n64 though so i my brother did and we were in different rooms mm. so we had one in the house mm. but it was like in his room um and so i my me th memories of mario really are the the marios on nes yeah. super mario world and snes and yeah. as, well super mario world just that one Mm. And then I jump all the way to Mario on Wii. Like, I didn't really yeah. mess with Mario in between there because, again, I didn't have a 64 right. in my room. So I, I just remember I remember that Mario being a huge deal, being in 3D space and all this stuff and being awesome. Mm -hmm. And so the thing that I heard the most about Odyssey was that it reminded everybody of Mario 64. And so oh, okay. to me, that made sense. And I loved Odyssey. So... That means that, you know, 64 must have been really good as well. I yeah. mean, obviously, people say it's amazing. So, right. But I see what you're saying, especially outside looking in. You're like, wow, two Mario games, two Red Dead games. Like, you know, but I think yeah. it, what I'm more surprised that Red Dead Undead wasn't on that list because it seemed like that one where like Red Dead Redemption got nines out of tens. Red Dead Undead or whatever it's called got ten to tens out of tens, which did it I really? I never but was understood. that considered? I, I don't know. Was that considered a different game or was that considered I considered no like a idea. DLC? I looked at I'm it as sure, a DLC because it played. used it used the map from Red Dead, uh -huh. so mm -hmm. I always considered it more of kind of like a Blood Dragon than a uh, its own oh, nice. game. Yep. <clears throat> yep. There you go. I'm surprised like none of the Fallout's are in there. I'm surprised Spider Man isn't in there. Uh, and yeah. uh, huh. but I don't think any of those were on Metacritic were 95 or above yeah no I, so that's if, yeah that's what I'm saying like I, I would think that the, I you mean, would they think they would be hugely right? popular but yeah 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 even Bioshock cool. yeah well I would think I, but it makes sense to be that Bioshock it doesn't seem like the kind of game to be yeah yeah you're right lauded you know what I'm saying critic wise as just being an incredible you know what I mean right yeah. Yeah, I kind of thought Uncharted would be on there. Yeah, yeah, that's another one. Good call. Yeah, I guess if you're in that 92 range. It makes me wonder range, what some of these other games Spider -Man, scores are. I've never looked them up. Yeah, Spider-Man yeah. got an 87. What? Hitman? <laughs> Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Oh, Spider-Man, 87. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's that's low, boy. That's I definitely think, not going to be I up there. I think God of War is the highest score that a PS4 exclusive has gotten this whole generation. Uncharted, right? Uncharted so. 4 got a 93. Okay. But Uncharted right. 2 got a 96, but it came out in 09. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. okay. So that was just right up under there. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. That's crazy. Man. Wow. Because wow. you're right. You remember things so fondly. But, like, yeah. yep. you know, Bioshock, the first one got a 96, but that's 07. Bioshock Infinite got a 94. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. under the 95 threshold hmm. we're talking about. And then Bioshock really? 2 got an 88. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And God of War, yeah, you're right, 94. So just up under there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chris, what else you got, bruv? All right. So um, a little bit more information about Hellblade 2. It has now been confirmed that it is going to be coming 
day and date to both PC as well as Xbox Series X. And I would have to assume whatever the next Xbox is as well, because they haven't named that. They're only mentioning PC and Xbox. And at first when I saw the story, I, I thought it was a little bit of a, like, well, yeah. Yeah. Didn't they already yeah. say this kind of thing. I right. same reaction. So I, I kind of went back and do a little bit of digging. I'm like, hey, am I just not remembering correctly? And it turns out they never really said what they said was that all first party or Microsoft Studio games will be coming day and date to Game Pass. Okay. Then later on they said, Oh, we're creating Game Pass for PC. Right. And they said right. that our intention is to make every Xbox game studio game for PC available the same day and date as well. Intention. So they never actually okay. said anywhere that I can find definitively that all Microsoft first party games will be coming to PC the same day as they will on Xbox. Mm. So yeah. to that extent, it's nice to have this confirmed this way, um, especially for someone like me who's in a situation where I'm trying to figure out, do I want to go down the PC route mm -hmm. or do I want to do Xbox? Right series whichever right right um and the main draw for me at the moment is hellblade 2 so i would have been pretty ticked if i didn't end up making a pc and they're like guess what you get it three months i'd be like uh what now yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i don't think that's gonna happen I, you see i just fit this money yes yeah. yes yes so it, it, it's good to hear that they they did actually confirm that and i would just assume that going forward they're going to be coming fast and quick with the the confirmations on this style of stuff because i think it only helps them the fact that their first party stuff comes to their platforms day and date yeah yeah on their service that mm -hmm. is you know they're really trying to push because it's a great deal for them so good kudos on them for not only doing that but also making sure that it's known for those who right. are curious and, and a little <clears throat> like i'm not sure you haven't actually said you said those words yet right yeah interesting yeah, yeah. Hmm. well i'll be interested to see which way you go miss mr mccracken I know, right? Lord, I will be too. <laughs> Do you uh, think it's the price point of the next console that's going to determine it for you? No. No. Like what it's going to ultimately come down to is do I want to deal with the PC route or not? Yeah. And I know everybody, like people on our Discord, people on Twitter, people everywhere, everybody's like, look, I get it. PC is the master race. I understand all that stuff. But I, I just... I don't. Care I would tell you about to get a console, awesome keyboard game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, even if I build a PC, I'm only playing single player stuff, and I'm plugging in a controller. Like that's yeah. what yeah. I'm gonna do. So. That'd be me too. Yeah. I don't really want to continue. I don't like the whole two PC setup. I've done that for a while. Like where you have two desktop computers. I don't really want to continue to do that. But all my software and everything's on my computers that I have now, and it's I'm all Mac based. So I would have to. Not that I would be buying a ton of stuff, but. This, every bit of software that I would need, I need to buy brand new. And mm -hmm. do I want to just have a machine where it's only for games when outside of a few things with video and stuff, it's like, I feel like that's all I'd be doing is gaming. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't yeah. know. There's, there's a lot of things. And I do think because this generation we've had, our console have done more things PC esque than they ever have. I'm assuming the next generation, that kind of stuff's going to add even more. So I feel like regardless, I need to just wait until E3 or whenever it is that we learn as much as we can about these consoles to see what are they really going to offer right and yeah. and you know what are they going to cost and then yep. see what that's going to be um i do think and i even have said it on this podcast before i think pc is the smarter way to go for most people especially if you're price conscious i think it's the absolute best better way to go right there's just a lot of other things that i need to consider about it as well so we'll just have mm. to see well as a guy who built a pc a year or two ago whatever it was mm -hmm. i would say go the console route <laughs> <laughs> personally <laughs> only because it's like it's easier great you case for you pc don't, you, don't game. Well you don't have to worry about anti-aliasing and like dialing in each game that you play to see mm -hmm. how you're squeezing the most out of it you put yeah. it in the console and you play the game that's yeah, all you right. have to worry about for the most part yep. um and so you know because I'm both, you know, like I played Batman on PC, which was awful. I played Hitman 2 on PC, um, but then I played the other Batmans on console, and then I played yes. the first couple of Hitmans mm -hmm. on console. And so I played, but I played XCOM on, on Steam, but then I played, mm -hmm. you know, the first XCOM on console. So I've kind of always bounced back and forth and lived a little bit in both realms. And yeah. Yeah. Um, I've gotten used to it. And yes, money-wise, 
PC is the way to go because the Steam yeah. sales are so steep that you get games for like seventeen dollars. It feels like three weeks after they come out, and so right. you know that's always that's always better. And you know it's easier to come across a little code. I feel like than you know going yeah. out and buying a game. But when it just comes to ease and like if all you're getting it for is gaming, then I'd mm-hmm. I'd, I'd tell somebody to get a, a console personally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So man. These people are still digging around in this in PT, the playable yeah, teaser for Silent Hill. Yeah, and, man. Um, you know, for those that don't know, PT was a demo that was put out by Kojima because he was going to do Silent Hill and Norman Reedus is at the end of it. And it kind of felt like that was the beginning of their budding relationship. Silent Hills doesn't happen. Kojima starts Kojima Productions. He does Death Stranding, gets Norman Reedus back in the saddle, and they make uh, what we have out these days. Um, but PT, for um, again, for those that never played it, is like a horror trailer. Um, we have a video of it somewhere on our YouTube channel of us playing it at episode 100. Yep. And uh, being scared and everybody like trying to figure out what's going on. And everything takes place pretty much in a hallway and a couple rooms that offshoot the hallway. And then, like I said, at the end, you're kind of outside and walk up to Norman Reedus and he kind of does a slow turnaround. Um, so these guys, we've talked about it before. They've been able to detach the camera from the person that you're playing and see that you're yeah. getting followed around by a ghost the whole time which is super scary wow. um, and that your character doesn't actually have a body but it's just kind of like a floating flashlight well now people are leaving the hallway and have found out that there's a whole map outside the building Wow, so crazy! and there's yeah. so much detail out there it's nuts um, there's cars, there's packages all over the place, there's uh, street signs there's like construction wow. stuff there's dumpsters, it's dark it's creepy, it kind of looks like wet in some places and it just like yeah. adds to the whole thing of like thank god Silent Hill didn't get made or else Satan would have came and took over the whole planet is what it feels like <laughs> uh, the, it looks so scary and I can't imagine and I and, and maybe he's done this and I just don't know it. I can't imagine what a horror Kojima game would be like. I think yeah. it'd be too much for me. Like, I already don't play scary games, but like I messed around with Resident Evil 7 with buddies. I don't think yeah. I would touch a Kojima game that was horror. Like, and I know this is old news <clears throat> that he was gonna do a horror game, but like just thinking about this and being able to see, because you can go and see it. It's a guy named Lance McDonald Mm -hmm. (laughs) and he put up all him like kind of roaming around this map and just Mm -hmm. looking at it. I'm like, yeah, doc. No, there's just no way I'd want to be in that world. There's no way I'd want to be in that world. I'm pretty sure it will not be shocking to me that Kojima, the new version of Kojima Productions does make a horror game. Oh, I I, got to. It wouldn't be shocking to me. It's going to happen. Oh, I don't want it that to. It's gonna be messed up. Yeah, man. his regular games can get jacked up. Right, you know, you're like, I don't know about that. Somebody get the oil, the holy oil, <laughs> sprinkle it. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, sprinkle <laughs> that holy oil, oil, holy water. Yeah, <laughs> sprinkle it on my, you sprinkle it on my PlayStation. And so, yeah. yeah, I don't know about this, but like, just walking around. Uh, Chris, did you get to like peruse that video at all and just see what's going yeah, on outside? Yeah, yeah, it's just. Like you said, it's just creepy stuff go around there. Yeah, and it's just you and the flashlight. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nah, Doc. Nope. nope. Even- I'm, I'm the opposite, Gabe. I'm just like, man, I wish we could have seen what this was going to Oh. Yeah. Was, <sighs> I don't know. Um, the other thing that's kind of interesting about this thing, too, is as he's walking around, Lisa, the girl that's following you around, still does jump out and do that jump scare that she does when you're inside and so oh, that right, does right. happen one good time while he's outside walking around but besides that uh, there's no there's no uh there's no jump scares but just the the attention to detail that's out there you could just tell that they were they were locked and loaded yep. man they had their yeah, they their were. little universe that they were gonna scare the crap out of people with and and it was yep. gonna be awful that's for sure <laughs> so do you think now that now that kojima's kind of got the ball rolling with Kojima Productions. Do you think Silent Hill can still happen at this point? Silent no, Hill owned, can't. That, that license is owned by Konami. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so he couldn't be involved with it right. unless they struck some deal. Right, right. Which yeah, it's not gonna fat happen. chance probably. Yeah. Yeah. Super fat chance. Mm. Wow. Um, 
Ed, what have you been streaming lately? Since there's nothing on the YouTube channel, what have you been streaming? Did you stream this last week? <laughs> well, I've been uh, this past week. We finished up Far Cry Three. Oh, and, awesome! Uh, went into uh, Grand Theft Auto Five. Started that. Um, and so it's again, it's been fun to revisit these games that I, especially these older games that uh, that I, I still really enjoy. They're a lot of fun. And, yeah, uh, of course. Overwatch. And they're all holiday family games too, which is <laughs> all holiday family games. I can't wait the week of Christmas to be streaming GTA Five. Yeah, That's I was right. gonna ask how have you decided how much of each game? Because Far Cry Three, I, I don't know if it was actually in the plans for you to finish it in that week, but because yeah, Borderlands kind of got jacked up. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, uh, and so I decided to just kind of mainline story missions. Yep. Uh, GTA Five, you don't have to level up, so I can skip all the side missions and just do the main stories. Okay. Um, so I'll I'll see, um, how how that goes. I know when I get to Red Dead, I'm just gonna want to just do everything again. I can feel yeah, it. Really. Yeah, I, feel it. I can yeah. feel, I can see you doing that. So too. you talked about on your stream this if you did your top ten, this mm -hmm. taking you to June. Yeah, I know. Yes. So Just, was that a joke or will you like, like, are you not going to stop for cyberpunk? Well, I, will, I will definitely stop for cyberpunk. Okay. Um, gotcha. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely stop for cyberpunk. I could see this going into, you know, I was kind of worried about February, everyone talking about it being a big month. And then Gabe and I were talking about how actually, at least for me personally, the games I was interested in all got bumped from February. Yeah, right? so yeah. I can I can keep taking my time if I want. That's right. That's right. There yeah. you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks, Ed. You betcha. <laughs> Every week Thank we you. ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. We asked you, what's your first video game memory? Could be when mm. you started playing or when you fell in love. And uh, we're going to start over on Twitter. We got uh, Matuna. At hmm. Matuna. My first memory was seeing a uh, plaque attack and Frogger on my aunt's Atari 2600. I was maybe wow. four or five years old and completely blown away. Wow. Yeah, wow. I love yeah. that. It's funny because reading through these, it's funny hearing people see the Commodore 6400, the Atari, the first NES and being blown away. Like, yep. you know what I'm saying? Like, if you look back and you're like, it's like just like a square making its way across yep. the desert. You think it took a lot more imagination back then. Yeah. Chris Weibel at dude underscore large pants. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. First memory playing Hot Wheels and Labyrinth on my grandparents Commodore 64 when I was five. Nice. First wow. fell in love with games. The first time I played Earthbound on SNES. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. I like that. Um. Aquamasta at Aquamasta. I was playing Guitar Hero with my father. Ooh, Ooh. nice. We got a lot of dad ones in here, which I That's love. That's awesome. And I, 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 it's striking me this year. Striking me. Yeah. Over on Facebook, Todd Mackey Jr. I vaguely remember when I had got the NES when I was five. Then, of course, came the Sega, but my favorite memories with gaming has to be when I got my first PS1 in 1995 for Christmas. Enjoyed hmm. them days of playing Twisted Metal and Command and Conquer Red Alert with my dad. Now, I have had every PlayStation console since, and I still hmm. game at least every other day at the age of 34. Nice. Awesome. Love that. Love that. Uh, wow. Bill C. Gardner the second. Not junior, like the last guy. This is mm -hmm. the second. Uh, my dad <laughs> brought home an NES. We played Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt for hours, and then I watched him play Tecmo Bowl. I've played games ever since and love them. I know that's, that's awesome. Right. Uh, over in the Married to the Games community, mm -hmm. Brendan Myers, the first time I saw The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, I just started to play it. And I have probably played it the most of any other game. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. I like that too. Um, let's see. Uh, Keith Stein. My dad had just passed away shortly mm. after Christmas. The Oh, the oh. Christmas that the Nintendo came out. I remember him oh, wow. showing me the cheat to get the first warp pipe on Christmas Day. 
My dad mm. was just 40 years old when he passed, and I'm sure mm. he would have continued to love video games. Wow. Yeah. I just wow. love this bringing the fathers and sons together because my dad bought me, the, and I think maybe it's just that men are drawn to techie stuff. Yeah. Because uh, mm -hmm. my dad yeah. bought my first stuff, uh, my first gaming stuff, and <gasps> like I told you, whooped me mercilessly in it. Yep. Yeah. Um, Boogie over on Discord. I got my first console at 10 in 2000. <laughs> Youngin. The wow. The Nintendo, <laughs> the Nintendo 64. I also got Spider-Man for it. My first memory is me and my best friend, best friend binging that game for about six hours straight and beating it. And that's mm. when my video game life started. I have played video games before. I had played video games before then, but this is my true first memory that sticks. Merry Christmas, guys. Nice. Thank like you. That. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Spencer. It was 1980 something and the Stapletons were broke. This was, team? <laughs> this was before, yeah. Living Broke off the street. Team? <laughs> yeah, living off the street team. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well played, sir. Well played. This, this, Yikes. This was, before the, <laughs> this was before the NES was a thing and the at-home video game industry was dying. Mom and dad bought a used Atari 2600. How they came up with the money, I will never know. We played mm. Pitfall, Breakout, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, Moon Patrol, Asteroids, and many others. We would swap cartridges with other kids so we could share the games we had. That was a long time ago. Mm, that's awesome. I, I love, love that. that so much. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, last one. Birdie Bay Butter Teeth. You. The first memory I have is playing with the Atari XE. I had several mm. crappy games and Dig Dug which I would play for hours. I also learned basic programming on this thing. I think I was mm. four or five when I got it, could barely read and type, and took me hours to write down a code to get a train to roll across the screen. Wow, <laughs> That's nice. amazing, the Atari XE. That's nuts, man. Thank you guys so much for answering the question of the week. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games, Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Of course, you come to Married to the Games.com. And guess what's on sale over there? What? Palace. Tickets to episode 400. What? It's Christmas what? time, baby. You might as well buy you some tickets to episode 400. Come on to Franklin. Hang out with come me. On. Hang out with Tim. Hang out with Ed. Hang out with Chris. It's going to be such a good time. We're going to be in a theater together. We're going to play games together. We're going to hang out. We're going to eat yeah. food. We're going to drink drinks and just talk about games and life, life and games. Uh. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Mm. Yeah. May 16th, 2020. It's going to be yes. off the chain right before the Summer Olympics, too. So that's mm. something I look forward to. I we, love We got to bring the torch in then. Somebody's got to <laughs> yeah. bring the torch. got to run the torch right. by, that's for sure. Wow. Right. Uh, if you would like to support the show, you could drop a dollar in the bucket over at patreon.com slash MTTG. We would and it took so us a while, but we moved up from a jar to a bucket. Yeah, well, we got All a right. bucket now. That was with yeah, your help. It's the so. church bucket. Thank y'all. That's yeah. right. <laughs> That's the plate. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Eduardo. Uh, rate us on iTunes. Leave a comment. <laughs> subscribe if you want. And uh, yeah, if we see you at 400, you won't get Shatnered. Oh, hey, yes, Ed. Good job. Well done, Ed. <laughs> well, let's get into some questions. All right, we're going to start with Discord. Bernabe Butter Teeth. Oh. I'm currently sitting at Mexico City Airport. It is 3 p.m. local time, and my next and final flight is at 9 p.m. Oh, gosh. As, as you can imagine, this place is packed. As in, <laughs> yeah. no place to sit, yeah. long lines, crazy people all over. Have you ever traveled during the holidays? Any fun slash terrible slash awesome experiences? I just saw a family got removed from the security checkpoint. 
The family funny. yelled at each other at passport control because you guessed it, they forgot one passport. <laughs> oh. I also got upgraded to business for my next flight and scored a last minute exit row seat with extra leg room. There you nice. go. Talk about a roller coaster, man. That's yeah. insane. Goodness gracious. I definitely have, you- have traveled during the holidays, uh, but I don't have any stories about it. It was, you know, get there. I mean, I did when I was really young, and I don't even know if this was for the holidays. I just am imagining it is because I was traveling back and forth in California, but I was 10 or something like that, and one of the engines lost power, and we fell 20,000 feet out of the sky, and the airbags came down, and it was scary as crap, and I hated Mm. it and don't like flying ever since. (laughs) Merry Christmas. Yeah, Yeah, thanks a lot, Wright brothers. (laughs) <laughs> right yeah, geez <laughs> in your air travel yeah ed you got any wow. uh christmas travel stories or holiday not, travel stories not really um when we lived in pennsylvania if we would drive back it was always kind of uh uh it's northeastern indiana and yeah. sometimes the roads are bad so yeah. um we, we would hit a couple snowy patches in ohio but nothing nothing crazy yeah chris no, never really did any traveling. I mean, that you couldn't just drive, you know, within a couple of hours to kind of thing. And mm-hmm. nothing super treacherous here in Texas. So mm. there you go. Not just really the other any stories. Yeah. Tim? Yeah. Us neither. We, uh, before Piper, and actually when my in laws were still up in Jersey for Christmas, we would, we would drive up and just stay up in New Jersey oh. that, that whole week through New Year's, mm. uh, which is like, I have great memories of that. In fact, it's kind of weird because normally, like, a night like tonight, like we would have our Christmas, just the two of us together. And then the next day we'd pack up and go and head up to Jersey. Mm. So we're, we're there by Christmas Eve. But um, no, man, we just we drove everywhere and it just made life easier because it's <laughs> kind of it's stress free. And it's yeah. it was a four, 14 hour drive and we just did it in one shot. And it, it, we had all of our gifts. We didn't have to worry about mailing anything out. So it was I loved yeah. being stress free during the holidays when yeah. it came to traveling. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Good question. MLS Chop, do you guys have any weird slash frustrating holiday rules in your family? For example, my wife doesn't like for me to purchase stuff for myself after November 1st. So she has stuff to buy or tell others to buy for me. As a gamer, Mm -hmm. it's frustrating because that's when all the AAA titles (laughs) drop. So it leaves me with nothing to play. (laughs) Oh, Oh, that stinks. Um, We don't have anything. I mean, the closest that we have is dancing around each other's Amazon purchases. Like, go. hey, oh, will you just not right. look at the past orders? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't look at the... And then, like, I have to be super slick because I'll... She likes to... My wife... <laughs> it's the funny the way she, she... loves to load up the cart and just keep stuff in there. Like, yep. to yeah. remember for later. She doesn't use, yep. like, any of the lists or anything mm. like that or the save yep. for laters. That's what I always have to do. And go and cl- So if I go to buy her a gift... And there's nine things in the shopping cart. I have to <laughs> all, save all them for later. Remember exactly what's in there. Buy her gift and then put them back in the cart oh, for her oh, wow. to, to wow. get back to. So that's the only thing that's a little that's a that's a you know a little dance that I got to do around Christmas mm. time. Yikes, Edward. So how how early are you oh. doing that kinds of stuff, Gabe? I typically it depends on it depends because her birthday's in September, and so uh-huh. um. Uh, as you know, yeah, that is in September on yeah, the 3rd. I, I, yes. I hear you. Yep, I'm following yep. you. And so, <laughs> um, <laughs> so her birthday is on the 3rd. And so, you know, you're kind of into fall and heading into the holidays anyway. So I can't wait. I can't do it too early because I'll be before her birthday and right. I can't do it. And mm. And so and then usually I'm broke from buying her stuff. And so you wait. And then like probably around November is when I start like put my antenna back up and like okay what has she talked mm. about and yep. what has she not talked about because i've talked to you guys about this before i hate buying things that people say they want because it takes yeah. the surprise out of it for me and so yeah. i like to buy things that they might have mentioned they kind of wanted that they wouldn't really buy for themselves because i think that's like oh i would never have gotten this for myself so yeah yeah only reason i i say that is because i've run into similar issues in the past because we have the one Stacy's account, Amazon account is the one that's the Prime account. But if I've got enough head start on it, I will. Abs- I have created my own Amazon account that's not Prime because I'm not buying Prime twice. Yeah. And I just, 
I just buy stuff through that one. So I was going to say that could be an alternate option for oh, you. Oh, yeah. I like that uh -huh. idea. That's a great but idea. If you like, if you're someone that's like, oh my gosh, I got two weeks and you know, something crazy could get delayed <laughs> and it might not be worth it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a great idea. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Chris, do you guys have any, uh, any weird things at Christmas? No, Stacy's got this weird thing. She wants to wait till Christmas to open. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ever yeah. since I met Ed, I'm just like, man, that's a doggone good idea. <laughs> right? I know. <laughs> no, I, I actually do really like having stuff to open on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, as it's going to be like we'll probably do this year because we're going to yeah. be traveling. Um, I, I wouldn't be opposed to opening a few of the things early, but, you know, <laughs> outside of that, really, there, and th that's not odd to wait yeah. till Christmas to open things. I mean, that's how it was my entire life growing up. So uh, right, nothing exactly. really, that's really strange by any means. Yeah. What about yeah, you? We don't have we don't have any rules either. We're, I mean, we like to open gifts on Christmas. It, it just makes it more magical, especially with Piper, you know, Christmas mornings, just yep. awesome. So yep. yeah. A little Christmas yeah. morning present opening and some Witcher on television. And some, and some Witcher <laughs> oh, with Witcher yes. in the background. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. Hands down. Yep. Ed, you guys, yeah. we know the one, we know that yep, you open the presents one. just whenever. No rules, man. No rules. Just live your life. What happens, Anything goes. What happens on Christmas morning? Anything? We sleep. We, uh, <laughs> it's the same thing as every other day. We sleep in. Okay. <laughs> we make some coffee. Yeah. Maybe watch a little, uh, Hulu or Netflix. <gasps> there you go. And we'll just kind of chill. Has everyone, Love it. has everyone watched Elf this year? No, not, I haven't watched Elf yet. Oh, wow. Really? No. We watch Home Alone one and two. And All two. Right. I do lost, I do love Lost in New York. I don't think it's as bad as people a, say it is. It's yeah. good. I like it. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> there you go that's awesome all right great question uh mlx what gaming related gift doesn't have to be from chris that cr from christmas was the biggest letdown like perhaps a game you thought would be good and wasn't wow Gr gaming related gift was the biggest letdown altered beast when i was little we talking about it last week it scared the freaking crap out of me we had to take that thing back that sucked i was, you know it's like you get a brand new thing and then they have to go swap the game out because the little boy's scared. Oh, what a sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Chris, you got one? I know. I, the thing is, I can't remember the name. I was just about to start Googling, but I was like, I'm probably not going to find it fast enough. There were a few uh, Game Boy games that I got. Okay. That just Ooh. did not pan out for me. I was like, <laughs> I, I, this, I'm not having fun with it. And one, I want to say one was called Mission Command or something. I can't remember exactly, but okay. there was a couple of them. Then I was just like, oh, these really aren't my jam. And I found with mm. Game Boy games, it was really hit or miss with me. Whereas like on the NES or SNES or any of those other things, it was usually like, I like what I got kind of thing. Because I knew what I was going to be into. Yeah. But on Game Boy, it was kind of like, ah, you know, maybe I'll like this Home Alone game. And then I'd be like, eh, yeah, it's just okay. Yeah. Or whatever, you know. A lot of those yeah. games were it junk, be, though, too. Definitely hit or miss on the the, the old Game Boy. Mm -hmm. Edward, you have any letdown gifts for video games? When I was a kid, I got Pac-Man cheats. What is that? Nice. Like bed sheets with Pac-Man design oh, on them. Oh, sheets. Oh, no. I thought you said cheats. Yeah, I thought you said thought cheats. You said too. As in cheat codes or something. Yeah, oh, so no. Wow. Yeah, sheets and pillowcases. <laughs> Pac-Man <Yay>! cheats. <laughs> That's incredible. Tim? Yeah. You Man. haven't had any letdowns. No, oh, I, I don't really have any game-related games gifts that were let downs because everybody got me best buy gift cards so it, i was always happy and then yeah. there you go Assassin's if i were to let, three. if i was if it was a let down i would it would i would let myself down because i purchased something with a gift card and didn't like it <laughs> yeah. your own so, fault that's so right. yeah, yeah it really turns into my own fault <laughs> that's funny <laughs> that's awesome mm -hmm. uh merry maker beef master there we go are there any holiday movie or tv specials that you avoid like the plague for me Charlie Brown Christmas is depressing. Hmm. I mean, really? I can see that. Um, Lights, please. I don't like, I don't watch Christmas movies, really. So I guess maybe all mm. of them. Wow. Uh, I don't like sit out. I haven't, I think Amara watched Elf. And so I was like kind of wow. in and out of that. Um, I don't really watch Christmas movies besides yeah. the ones that I ask you guys about. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. there's those. You know, maybe yeah, that's I'll what just... keeps me away. Right, right. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I've put together a list this year. Games, yeah. Christmas movies. Amazon wish list. Yeah, yeah. Right. So people can go enjoy them themselves. Edward? 
Uh, you know, the, I forget what channel it was now that you that plays a Christmas story for 24 hours. TNT, uh, I believe. Yeah, TNT yeah. burned me out of that movie. I can't yep. stand it anymore. Really? I, I couldn't Bo? agree more, man. Yep, I'm right there with you. I'm like, <laughs> and, and Piper really loves it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Amara loves yeah. that movie. Yeah. yeah, it's a great movie. Is that the uh, it was. try out? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. What, yeah. about, what about you, Chris? Um, I will usually on Christmas Day or some point around there, we will watch a Christmas movie or have it on Christmas Story, whatever it's called, the Shoot Your Eye Out movie. Yep. Mm -hmm. I haven't burned down it, but I don't, there's nobody in my house or wherever I am usually that's like, let's watch it again, where I have to right, you know, right. deal with it over and over. A lot of times when it comes around Christmas time, I I just assume I'm going to get at least one of the Home Alones in there at some point. But outside of that, I'm kind of a bit in the Gabe camp where I just... I don't make a point to watch Christmas stuff. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like if I happen to be around when it comes on, sure. But I'm right. not going to go out of my way to be like, and we've got to watch blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not really a thing for me. Nice. Uh, good question. All right. On to Facebook, we've got Jeffrey Wright II. Mm -hmm. What exclusive IP do you wish was available on all platforms? For me, it would be Last of Us on Xbox. Oh, watch yeah, playthroughs, yeah. but I wish I could play it without having to buy another console. Right. Yep. Yep, that's a good one. Um, gosh, it's so hard because I have, we all have all of them. And so it's hard right. for me to put myself. I, I wish that, um, I wish more people could enjoy Smash, Smash Brothers. Because mm. I think mm. Smash Brothers is a great game. I think it's a great fighter. It's deep, obviously. Um, I would get like my tail whooped in a tournament. But like, I think it's just a fun game to play with friends and yeah. You know, when you have over 70 fighters to choose from and your, you know, memory and you have so much history with some of them, you know, when it's like Samus or um, Little Mac from Punch Out, uh, Mario, obviously, yeah. like they're just such fun characters to play. And Nintendo just knocks it out of the park with that game. So, yeah, yeah I would have to say Smash Brothers. I wish that was on. I wish that was on everything. Mm. Uh, answer. Chris, what do you think? Uh, Hellblade 2 on PS5. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would greatly make my situation easier. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. No, look, I, I can't think of one at the moment. And honestly, it's because I like the exclusive game. Yep. I like things yeah. being only tied to Sony and things being only yeah. tied to Xbox and things being only tied to Nintendo. I like there being a legit hardcore reason for you to want to have that thing i like the competition aspect i like the sh the seeing the back and forth and one guy getting better because man they had a bunch of great exclusives that we didn't have that many so now we're going to come back even stronger and then the vice versa i like all that so i yep yeah i mean even though there's definitely been games like i wished when i was it was in the ps3 days like man i wish all my 360 buddies because most of my friends were 360 guys could try the last of us and they didn't have ps3s right. i do get those moments where games will come up like oh i wish you could try this but at the same time it's just like i'm, I'm cool with the way that it's the game is played yep mm -hmm. i like it there you go yeah, I was going to say the Uncharted series because there's four of them and they're all really good. But yeah. when you said Smash Brothers, Gabe, I was like, oh, Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Gosh. I'd love to play Mario Kart again without having to get another <laughs> console. <laughs> you should try, if you haven't already, the Crash Team Racing. It's very similar. It's, uh, it's Yeah, not... I, and it's it, unfortunately, it's one of those things where I enjoyed playing it, but people are like, I don't know the maps. I don't know these people. I don't want to play it. It's like, yeah, oh, you got to give it a second. Yeah. 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 Huh? Mm -hmm. What about you, Tim? Uh, man, now that I'm watching it, I want to do the whole Witcher uh, trilogy on PlayStation. Cause it's it was not always, on PlayStation. Um, it's not on PlayStation. Witcher one and two were one, I think is only PC and two really was Xbox only two. I think really? it was PC and Xbox. PC and Xbox. And Xbox. Wow. Yep. And it no came to idea. Xbox way yep. late. Like yep. I remember. Right. And it never came to PlayStation. It only yeah. three what? did. So I would love to get the whole Witcher trilogy and, and start really? from day one. Yeah. That'd be awesome. I had no idea. That's why yeah, I, I, I went back at two. Like when I was looking at Witcher three, I'm like, man, where's Witcher one and two. And they were PC and Xbox only. Yeah. Three wow, was the first wow. one that went, you know, all yep. over the place. Yep. It went global. It's even, even come to switch. So that's yep. crazy. Wow. Really good question. I like that one a yeah, lot. That's good. Uh, Todd Mackey Jr., what are you looking forward to most in 2020, whether it be gaming related or something else? Let's do not gaming related because that's going to be next week's question of the right. week. 
But if there's okay. something else, 2020, I mean, I could probably speak for all of us. Episode 400, man. I'm looking so yeah, forward man. to mm-hmm. that step up. And it's going to be a little bit of a crazy time for me because I'm going to be getting in town the day before we have it. Um, <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> but hey, we don't have to set up any chairs or anything like years right. past. Yeah, man, we got it. Um, we got it covered. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm ready for, you know, we've had such a rough, me and Chris have had such an awful fall um, that I'm ready to kind of, I don't know, you know, winter started today. And so I'm just like ready to mm. get back out in like the sunlight and live life without this like, I feel like there's kind of a cloud over everything I do right now. Like I kind yeah. of feel guilty about having fun and laughing and mm. and, and stuff mm. like that. And I feel like, you know, you, you're recognizing that you take things for granted. So I'm ready for that to kind of like, I don't know, just to take a deep breath again and and feel like the it. sun shining and and a little reset. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, and not saying yeah. that'll be January one, but you know, just like yeah. I'm ready to move into <clears throat> like not feeling hurt, you know, so mm, often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. Ed? Fair enough. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm just like you gave definitely four hundred, and um, I don't know something about the start of a new decade. You know, yeah. Not only is it a new year, but it's a new decade. And it kind of, it's very easy to go in with like just a clean slate mindset. Yep. And so just kind of like a, a kid wondering what's the next adventure going to be. Nice. I love that. What about you, Christopher? Uh, 400 is definitely up there, but also um, 2020 is Stacey and I's 10 year anniversary. Yay! Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. That's awesome. So, definitely looking forward to that. Nice. nice. That's awesome. Yep. Do you guys That's have any great. loose plans? Like, are uh, you like, we should go somewhere? Like, yeah, that loose? Then, um, we, we haven't really started pushing hard on getting all the details worked out together, but our plan has always been since we got married that on our 10 year anniversary, we would go to Ireland. Oh, so wow. I've got all the stuff that I had to get because I didn't have a copy of my birth certificate. So I got all that stuff. So I got to get the passport stuff rolling. Wow. Because I've never had a passport. And I've never been outside the country. Mm-hmm. Um, and then get all the next steps and when we're going and where we're going. Exactly. Yeah. You know, oh, my gosh. So, Can you podcast well, from Ireland, please? I, I, I want to put too much pressure on you. I don't put too much pressure on you. Probably going to have to. Oh, that, that would be, be amazing. amazing. We'll see. But we'd also understand if you could make it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, Tim, what are you looking forward to 2020, bud? Man, I think you all collectively have already said it. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely 400, obviously. Um, yeah, man, I, I'm I'm just, it's a new decade. Let's see Let's see what this one brings. Um, I'd like to have a, a little bit of a better year than, than 19, just with, with all my friends and family members and, and yeah. what's, what's happened and um, but yeah, I just, I always love new year's cause it, it, it's just a new year. Cause it's just a reset mm-hmm. and it's just, let's, let's kind of sit back for a second, reevaluate and see what, what we need to change, what we, or, you know, what we need to tweak and, and go from there. So I like I'm it. Excited. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be good. All right. We got one more question. Twitter at, uh, the art of bacon, Eric green. Did any of you actually watch the ginger dead man trilogy? <laughs> <laughs> he owns them. Did, I know <laughs> what he owns yeah. all three. Oh, um, no, no, no. no. And, and no, cliff notes, please just like, give us like a scene or two and we'll, <laughs> well see what happens. I'll tell you what Hollywood bone said. He said, oh never, God. ever, 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 ever watch that movie. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. He said, so he gave telling he, me we should try. Yeah, yeah. He gave it a zero out of 10. <laughs> wow. And I said, that's crazy. I said, knowing you, I would think you would give it a negative out of 10. He said, the movie doesn't even deserve a rating. It's that bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I was like, that means I picked the right one, baby. Yeah. yeah. Good one. My job I here is so. done. Yes. You're welcome. Wow. That's it. That's it, man. That's it. Oh, snap. All right. Well, get your phones out. Get your lists out. That's where my list is at is on my phone. We are going to drop our top five games of 2019. And I know it was a struggle for some of us. It wasn't a struggle for one of us. (laughs) So we're going to start with him. Edward texted us Mm -hmm. before we started and said, 
Can I do a top 10? (laughs) Yeah, buddy, go ahead. Yes, the rest of us are going to be doing five. I'm going to do five with an honorable mention. Um, but oh, there you go. Let's, we'll let's do the top six then. Let, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know if this falls at six. That's the problem. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> um, go ahead, Eduardo. Give it to uh, us. Your at, top ten. At number ten, I have Night School's After Party. Uh, oh night. yeah, <laughs> that was a lot of. It was just crazy fun. Drinking with Satan. Drinking, Drinking with, with Satan. Satan and winning. <laughs> uh, at number nine, MLB The Show, 19. Ooh, Who picked that hey. one? So much fun. Nice. Thank you for that, Chris. Um, yeah. I love that. I, that was a nice, nice surprise. There we nice. go. Uh, number eight, I had Gears 5. Um, just I forget yeah, you even you played go. that game. What's that? Wow. I forget you even played that. Yeah. yeah. He plays a lot of games, Gabe. He <laughs> <A lot. laughs> really does. He plays a lot of games, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one that gets paid uh, to do it. Exactly. <laughs> right? Uh, number seven, Jackbox Party Pack 6. Oh, Just good. Uh, good yes. one. Oh, you know what? Shoot, I could do a top six. <laughs> there you go. Doggone it. I forgot the doors are opening. The doors, see, there you go. Number six, I've got uh, Trover Saves the Universe. Oh, my gosh. Good Lord. Just because you know why. Yeah, that was uh, hilarious. <laughs> number five, Far Cry New Dawn. Uh, oh, okay. Lo- Love that one. Yep. Uh, I put control at number four. Wow. Did you? Dang Late you. entry. I did. Sliding in there. Slipped right in there. I was so glad I finished it. Shoot. Uh, number three, Blood and Truth, because, you know, I love that game. Yeah, that VR, a, baby. Uh, VR all the way. Number two, Wolfenstein, Young Blood. Wow. Uh, nice. Yep. Yeah, you love that game. Good I remember you job, man. praising that game. Woo. So much fun. So much fun. And, of course, Give it to number me, Ed. one. Borderlands 3. Yes! Thank you, brother. Of course. Good job. Great list, bud. Thank you. All right, Timmy. (laughs) You would. Okay. (laughs) This is going to be super easy. I played two games in 2019. (laughs) So, number two, Far Cry New Dawn. Number one, Borderlands 3. (laughs) (laughs) But think about it. Like, so I. I started uh, in the new so year. Funny. I started, I think I was just playing Overwatch until Far Cry New Dawn came out. Yep. And yep. then I played yep. New Dawn, went back to like Overwatch for a little while, and then uh, and then picked up Spider-Man and then did Spider-Man. Right. And, yep. um, and then from Spider-Man went, I think, back to Overwatch for a while and then went right into Borderlands 3. And Borderlands 3 was my fall game, and yep. I basically just played that. So... Two yep. games for me. Woo-hoo! That's amazing. I love that. I love that so much. Uh, Christopher. I'm a bit in the same camp in that I just didn't play that many games that came out this year. I de- There were a few that are not on this list that I did dabble with. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but I'm kind of like you. It's like, well, even if I was filling this out to a more than five, it's like, I don't know exactly where these games would land. So yeah. I don't yeah. know that they'd even be there, quite frankly. So yeah. My number five, even though I, ha- I haven't gotten that far into it, I already can tell that I'm going to enjoy it. So number five is Untitled Goose Game. Nice. Really? Number, nice. Yes. Yeah. Number four wow. is uh, Far Cry New Dawn. Nice. Okay. Oh, number nice. Number three is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Uh, I really enjoy that. I, I liked World War II, both the, the campaign and um, the multiplayer, but I feel like this is the best of both of those worlds. It really Call is. Call of Duty in yes. a long time. Yes. Yeah. Um, my number two is Death Stranding. Wow. Even though I'm not completely yep. done with it, it's been my wow. favorite of my single player games this year, which yeah. the only other one really was Far Cry. That was a 2019 game. So it's not a ton to compare it to, but I've had a lot of fun with it. Nice. And looking forward to finishing it when we get back from Oklahoma next weekend. Nice. And then number one, this should be, no. everybody should know what this is going to be. I know what Apex it is. Legends. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's no way it cannot be. I've put, I, I don't know if there's a place I can go in that game to see how many hours I put in, but I bet it is a lot. Yes. Yeah. Like, DJ. it's probably approaching year one Overwatch numbers. Like, it's yeah. a lot. Wow. Yeah, sure. So, DJ Ajax Legends. Ajax yep. Legends. Oh, Boom. Ajax Legends. All right. <laughs> yeah. So um, my honorable mention. Oh. Because I don't think it's number six. If mm-hmm. I was being completely honest. Is uh, yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3. 
Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that game was a long time coming. They put a lot of work into it. I didn't always appreciate how long <laughs> they talked. However, it was still a really great game. When you're playing the game, the game is super fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Super fun. And you might as well skip the cutscenes anyway, so the game don't make sense. So, you, you know, <laughs> you're not there for all that. <laughs> uh, my number nice. five is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Nice. Ooh, okay. Loved it. I, I haven't played it as much as I'd like, um, but I really did enjoy the uh, the campaign, which I did for Extra Life. That was really fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, number four is a, a little game called Archero, which is on mm. the phone. A-R-C-H-E-R-O. It is yeah. taking over my Clash Royale time. Um, it's awesome. And it actually got Innovative Game of the Year of 2019 from Google Play. So oh, nice. uh, oh, I was nice. playing it before uh, it was awarded, but uh, they added that to yeah. the splash screen when it when it loads up. Uh, my number three, like I mentioned earlier, Smash Brothers Ultimate. That oh, nice. game is so good. Uh, yeah. I think Smash is like Mario Kart. It's almost perfect. Like it, mm, there's yeah. <laughs> nothing wrong with it as a fighter. I don't think uh, it's nice. rowdy. It's raucous. You got to really pay attention. It's tough when you get more than four people on the screen. You got to really focus in there. They've right. got you know, you know, they've got everything you need in a fighting game uh, with nostalgia thrown in there. Yeah, my number two is Astral Chain. Nice, which uh-huh. I beat yeah. earlier this year. Makes that sense. game is really good. And yeah. it's I mean, it's Japanese now. Don't don't just everybody go out and play it. Not everybody's gonna like it. But like some of the moments, like I, I thought a limb so many times because I was like, oh, if I screenshotted that right there, that would be such a great. Uh, that's funny. Such a great game um, uh picture. Yep. And I mean, me and uh, Chris go to the same club. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we know the bouncer. <laughs> we don't even have to pay cover no more. Our girls oh, yeah. get in for free. Front of the line. Yeah, we don't have to do the two drink minimum anymore. And it's bumping in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mirage just he waves us in from the back of the club. He's like, no, 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 no. They would meet. They would meet. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> nice. And we and we uh, and we jump around to the the music of DJ Ajax for Legends all night long. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number one is Apex Legends for me, man. It's it's definitely it's it's what Chris said. It's like I wouldn't want to see my numbers in Clash Royale. And I wouldn't want to see my numbers in Apex. It's just, yeah. th- it's a lot. I just know it's a lot. So <laughs> There's got to be a way to find it. I want to know. I, I mean, they know. show you how many matches and everything, kind of like in Overwatch or whatever, right? Um, but I don't know if there's an yeah. hour amount mm-hmm. like in Overwatch. So yeah, uh, those are our top fives. Uh, top two for Tim. <laughs> <laughs> the only two even if he hated those games is what's funny they would have had to be yeah, in the top it two it would have been one and two <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh my gosh let us okay. know what your top five games of 2019 are and we will talk about it next week thank you guys so much for being with us video Christmas episode we've done this every year um, me and Tim and Tim used to do it in a room together and it yeah, used to look did. awful. Yeah. Uh, it looked awful for two years <laughs> straight. <laughs> um, now we are all in different states and we have this little template going on with the twinkling lights, which mm, is so yep. much fun. Um, so thank you guys for making this happen. We're bringing it all together. I'm always so appreciative around this time because it's hard to you know always get these, these calendars in sync when it comes to yes. Christmas time. Mm-hmm. So it's true. We appreciate hey. we I appreciate you guys' hard work. Gabe, I got a story for you real quick before we're out of here. Oh, let's hear it. All right. I got a call from our boy Josh Stapleton. Oh, really? Street Street Team. Oh, living off the street team. And he told me <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Back in the day living off the street. And yeah. he told me that uh there was a lot of concern from the community about you missing your Nintendo Switch. Uh, people were coming together and asking him, hey, you know, how, how can we help Gabe out with the Switch thing? What can we do? Uh, something amazing happened, brother. What? Uh, we, we received uh, so much love from the community in such a short time that everyone pulled a little money together, including what? my lovely co-hosts. What? Uh, to replace your Switch. What? However, 
Oh, okay. However, all right. However, <laughs> okay. <laughs> the car rental place called. Yeah, there, yeah right. <laughs> there was a lot of love for this man. A lot of love. So we uh, we collectively decided to kick this up a notch. And I know your birthday's coming up. Oh man, yeah, I happy know birthday, it. Gabe. Yep. Oh, happy birthday. You. Yeah. And I know it's Christmas. And this podcast community, man, is just simply amazing. And I know you've been talking about this for a while. So you're getting an Oculus Quest no. as a replacement. What? Yep. <laughs> you're getting an Oculus Quest, brother. And listen, Jenny oh, knows about this. How does that work? Because you're amazing. Oh. And we wanted to honor you for your birthday and for Christmas. And this all happened organically. And it progressed like wildfire <laughs> within 24 <laughs> hours. So within no 24 hours. Oh. I never want to hear you, Gabe, say that your birthday gets overlooked again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. exactly. Oh I don't get to say that no nope. more. Oh. I have to give this up. And thank Josh Stapleton because he coordinated everything. We were what talking all is weekend. Going on right now. And uh, here's here's the rub, though. Uh, <laughs> you're not getting it until January because the holidays <laughs> completely crushed it. <laughs> I have I have the confirmation for you, and we will. And it's I think it's going to show up around like mid January, like hey. to like the twenty second or. So listen, so, I I worried about that. Dang it. I don't even so, know what to say right now. Well, we want to say happy birthday and Merry Christmas and we love you. And and there's oh, there's there's shit. one more thing. There's one more thing. Oh, what now? Um we know that uh Gabe wanted to kick 2019 to the curb because of the passing of his father-in-law and uh and obviously with Truett, but there's another brother here that suffered a serious loss. And it's our boy Chris McCracken. Yeah. And so we wanted to honor you too, brother. So during this Christmas season, uh, we had no clue what we wanted to give you, but you're going to get a, a really nice Amazon gift card. That's a way to oh, say Merry man. Christmas and we love you and we're thinking of you. And uh, right after this podcast, I'll be um, texting Josh and he'll send it to you. So we didn't want to leave you hanging either, man. And I know this year has been rough for both of you. Dang it. So I just... We just, it, dude, I'm telling you, this community is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, and we love all of you that participated, dude. We had close to 40 people participating in this. Are you? So That's, and within a 36 hour period, it, it, was, it absolutely blew my mind. It, Josh and I were, were just like, this is insane. This is absolutely crazy that this is happening. Like we had no idea. <laughs> This happened so organically, and and we wanted to lift both of you guys up in the, in, in whatever way possible. And so yeah, it was it was pretty crazy because I got Josh's message pretty late, and when I responded to him later that day, he said we've already gone above and beyond what we need. Yep. yep. And I was like, what? Within oh. 24 hours, we already had, it was done, man. It was a done deal. And we, and this was a collective thing. Like we were so, t we were transparent with everybody. We're like, Hey, what if we kick this up a little bit? Because all you guys are ridiculous. <clears throat> and Dang so it. they were, everybody was like, cool. cool. Dang it. Lord and have mercy. It was, it was, it, it was incredible, man. It was, it was, it was mind blowing and eye opening. Just, this is what we've created, man. This is the, if if everything goes to hell in a handbasket tomorrow, I am dying a happy man knowing <laughs> yeah. what 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 has been built here yeah. and, mm -hmm. and the people out there and that with all the negativity and everything going on, yeah. it's that that we have something like this. And I'm yeah, sorry. I feel like Ellen right now for some reason. And some guy <laughs> with a check needs to come out, like, like a big old check needs yeah. to come out. But Dang uh, it. I. I yeah, I, I couldn't I couldn't not pass this up and 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 Josh, thanks for, for putting oh, this all together. Yeah. I just it, love the fact that it wasn't one of us saying, Hey community, can we nope. do something? I love the fact that nope. it was the community saying, We want to do this. Yep. But that was Yeah, it's insane. Uh, like I I was driving in the car when Josh told me that and I pretty much had to pull over just to be like, we, they did what now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it, it, it's, it's incredible. Chris. I, I don't, 
Love you, man. Oh, shoot. Um, you know what's weird? As a dad, you don't really get stuff anymore. Exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, yep. And, oh, uh, a tie. Great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. More socks. It is what I needed. It was, sure. Um, but I feel like... Uh, yeah, man, the love that's here is, uh, is, is, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That, thank you, guys. I mean, I don't, I, there's, I don't even know if there's any words for it. I mean, thank you. That's, that's an, an incredible gesture. And, um, you know, we are more than happy. Like we were just saying, we're more than happy to be here for you guys and to provide this podcast and to try to cultivate <laughs> this family and, um, and yeah, I I don't know, man. Shoot, I, I, I my only regret is that the, the way that we have to do this when we're recording, I can't see Gabe's camera. I know, it's so annoying. <laughs> yeah. The one guy, I'm like, oh man, I can't see you. It's like, ah, oh, you're not gonna be able to see me. I'm like, oh, really? It gives you a reason to watch the video. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> Add another view to the YouTube. Oh. Yeah. Why, yeah, man. Oh shoot! Well, I um, love you guys. So, I, I sorry to interrupt. Uh, I, I look. I don't need. I, I this community is what I wanted to have, and you know, obviously, you guys as well as you know, as the crier of the podcast because <laughs> this is like the fifth or sixth time. It's this all has good, man. To me. Um. Like this community is all that I need. And so just thank you so much for the gesture. I mean, it, and the, the crazy thing is, is that I shouldn't be shocked because this is not like, this isn't shocking. You know, mm. it's like, this is the type of thing that our community would do. Like, oh yeah. And, and, and so honestly, just think about it. They already have two with extra life. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, look, look, look what we did with Extra thousand dollar goal. And now, and now they're going above and beyond, <laughs> uh, uh, beyond Extra Life. Like, ridiculous. think about that. That's why I nearly pulled over. I'm like, wow. Sorry, Karis, continue. I mean, you guys and ladies uh, are literally the best community that's on the internet. I don't, you know, I will fight somebody <laughs> if they want to disagree <laughs> with that. And I, I think there's too much proof. It gets proven over and over again yeah. all the time. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know what else really to say besides that because it's just, it's it's insane. That's yeah. crazy. I can't. It is, man. Thank you for Lord. all your generosity. This whole, this whole season, like for yeah. all this extra life stuff and everything that you guys have done. Mm -hmm. It's, y'all kill it and y'all always kill it, and, I, sh I don't know how to show more appreciation. I, I really don't. Yeah, you don't, man, because they they wanted to show the appreciation for you and for Gabe and for what what you guys do and what this podcast does. That's that was the root of all of this was we're all gamers. We're all part of a community. Chris, How did we not get a whiff out. of that somewhere along the line? What's that? Uh, me and Chris didn't get a whiff. I, I need to get a whiff. No. Uh, That's uh, because it, it, it happened so fast. Off. It happened. Literally, I got a call on Friday night from Josh. We worked out the details Saturday, and it was uh, it was ordered and done that night. <laughs> That's crazy. Everything was ordered and done that Saturday night, and it has been killing me <laughs> this entire <laughs> podcast. <laughs> killing. I me. wondered. I wondered how long you were going to be able to, to not say it. Again. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your face, Ed. Like toward the end, I saw you, you gave me this little <laughs> wink, and I'm like, finally, I, here is my moment. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, it was jealous. Well, thank you so guys. I'm gonna, Ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to send you a list of, of people who who reached out. Yeah. And, uh, J Josh kind of put it all together um, just so you know. And yeah, um, and yeah man, I mean, this, sure. this community loves you and we love them back. And there's there's oh, n there's man. nothing. Nothing better. Yeah, that's the truth. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. Um, yes. Uh, <laughs> the 380 in the books, <laughs> I guess. I would. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> you know, 2019 is not so bad. All of yeah. a sudden anymore. <laughs> it, it took a weird turn. That's for sure. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a little. It took a weird turn. Um, yep. Well, Merry Christmas to everybody in our community. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> in our community. <clears throat> and uh, we appreciate you guys um, mm-hmm. so much. Ugh. <sighs> I've gone like two weeks without crying, and it's, it's been great. And, yeah, here, we, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, uh, I'm Gay Patillo, the, the verklempt Gay Patillo. <laughs> that is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That's the verklempt Chris McCracken. And uh, we're both grateful and yes. married to the games. And we are up out this thing. Take us home, brother. That is the craziest thing ever.